In today's Lord Gizmo video, we'll take a look at how tons of cucumbers are harvested and the step-by-step -step process they go through before it reaches your table. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more similar videos. Cucumbers grow best in warm climates, but some parts of the world experience winter. To ensure that cucumbers still grow all year round despite the changes in weather, farmers use greenhouse farms. These are specialized agricultural facilities that use artificial lighting, heating, and cooling systems to regulate temperature and humidity levels, hence allowing farmers to produce fresh cucumbers in any season. The journey of a cucumber begins when it's still a seedling. Inside these production plants and greenhouse farms, workers use a combination of growing media such as peat moss, versmlicht, or coconut core, along with a fertilizer solution to form these boards with holes. It is hydrated and made with these combinations to ensure the maximum seed germination and early plant growth. As soon as the seedlings have two sets of leaves, they'll be prepared for transplanting. The seedlings will be moved to a larger container and lined up inside a greenhouse farm. After that, this machine will pick up the seeds one by one and line it up on this conveyor belt. These seedlings are placed in specific and consistent spacing so they fall perfectly on the growing media. Since cucumbers are a vine type of crops, they need a support system for them to grow successfully. This machine is designed to add in a stick that will function as the cucumber's support. Cucumbers are creeping plants, so they need something to twine around to grow vertically. As you can see, this greenhouse farm can imitate the light and even the irrigation as if the cucumbers are planted in their natural place. They'll be transferred from time to time and the farmers make sure that they get adequate light as well as enough hydration. After that, the seedlings will be placed on these layers and covered with plastic. This is in preparation for their transportation to the processing facility. After gaining two or three sets of genuine leaves, prepare the soil by loosening it to a depth of 8 to 10 inches and adding organic matter, such as manure or compost, to promote a healthy transplant. To minimize heat stress, steer clear of severe weather, and sow the seedlings at the proper spacing according to their variety. Farmers do so during chilly hours of the day. They usually plant cucumbers in rows 36 to 48 inches apart or 12 to 18 inches apart. Greenhouses require specialized heating systems since they need to maintain a specific temperature range throughout the year. There are a lot of ways to heat the greenhouse, one of which is making sure that the greenhouse has proper ventilation and coating. In order to minimize energy demands and maintain pleasant temperatures within the greenhouse, efficient insulation and enough ventilation are essential. After that, a worker manually goes over the rows of cucumbers to inspect their condition. They make sure to regularly inspect the cucumber plants for signs of pests such as spider mites, white flies, or aphids. Their task includes maintaining the cucumbers and making sure that they're in their highest quality. This is done through pruning. Workers remove any dead or weak branches from the plants to encourage bushy growth and better fruit production. Hygiene is also very important in this step. This is why workers make sure that they use clean clippers in taking out the unwanted leaves of the cucumber. In order to get rid of bad pests, some of the greenhouse farms introduce good insects that fight off parasites. For example, they introduce beneficial insects like ladybugs and lacewings 
that feed on harmful pests. When a cucumber reaches its full size, it's best to harvest it before it becomes too big or starts to taste bitter. Gently grab the cucumbers by the stem and twist it to see whether they're ready. Cut the stem close to the fruit's base with pruning shears or scissors to avoid water buildup and enhance the quality of the cucumber. They are also measured individually to keep track of their weight and condition. Then, they'll be transferred to these yellow boxes in preparation for sorting. After that, the boxes will be transferred over to these conveyor belts to begin the sorting process. Agricultural sector has become so far that this process is already completely automated. These machines transfer the boxes with cucumbers to their designated area. They'll be placed individually in this conveyor belt and sorted according to quality and size. Once that is done, the workers will transfer them inside a box. Tons of cucumbers will be moved to the packaging area where they will be covered with plastic and labeled accordingly. Now that the cucumbers are harvested, their vines will no longer be useful. The workers of the greenhouse farm will start the cleaning process. They'll cut down these plants through this tool and to make it more efficient and faster. For pickling, factories usually utilize recently picked cucumbers that have been chosen for their size, shape, and quality. The chosen cucumbers are then carefully cleaned in cold water and arranged in size and color groups. After sorting, the cucumbers are sliced into spears or thin rounds, depending on the type of pickle that is preferred. Subsequently, the cucumber slices are submerged in a brine solution for multiple hours in order to tenderize and improve their flavor. After that, for extra flavor, the pickles are immersed in a vinegar bath flavored with chili peppers, garlic, and a dill. Lastly, to add in preservation and facilitate storage, the pickles are placed in jars after soaking in the vinegar bath. Thank you so much for being with us today. We hope you've learned something from this video. We're also excited to hear about your favorite part of the process. Be sure to share them in the comment section below. If you want to learn more, we also have a video on sugarcane production. Go ahead and check that out too. For more videos similar to this one, don't forget to like and subscribe.